Jesus has risen.
Jesus is risen. He is risen indeed. Oh. Praise God. Our Lord Jesus died and has risen again. Jesus is truly risen. He is risen indeed. Do we cry like people that have no hope? No. no. The angels, they proclaim that Jesus rose again. And we believe that Jesus rose again just as he promised. Sometimes we weep when it happens another believer <coughs> dies. Just like Jesus wept when it happened his friend died. We, we also weep because, because sin, sin brought death here to our world. Because of sin, we all must also die. Our bodies die. Does our life end? No. 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 The meaning is that our death, it begins our new life forever in heaven. His victory overcomes death. Oh, death. Where is your victory? Oh, great, where is your hurt? Thanks be to God. With our Lord Jesus Christ, he gives us victory. Jesus is truly risen. He is risen in me. I have risen with him. And I have received a new life. Truly, when he baptized each one of you, God buried you with Jesus. And when Jesus, Jesus rose, rose again, I rose again, and he has given me faith, my new life with him. I trust Jesus, and my life will continue forever. Jesus is risen. He is risen indeed. Praise God, our Lord Jesus Christ has risen. Because he lives, we also will live forever. Gather together, trusting the name of Jesus Christ. We are people, therefore we aim here. But sometimes we forget that we are weak, we are stubborn, and we lie to ourselves. We do not love God just as we should. We don't. And we do not love other people just as we should. We don't. We hurt each other, and we feel sorry for doing that. And we know that we have sin-sick souls. We want new life. Oh God, you give life. Please heal us, defeat our sin, and free us. Almighty God, we are sinners, and you show mercy on us, and you forgive us. Lead us to life everlasting. Amen. The living faith in you believes God. I am a servant of God's word. He called and ordained me. 
you confess your sins. Therefore, I announce God's grace to you. Jesus forgives all of your sins. We trust in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Holy Spirit, teach us and help us to live as your people. Come, live in our hearts. readings this morning are for the resurrection of our Lord, Easter Sunday. The first lesson this morning is taken from Exodus chapter 15, verses 1 through 11. Now Moses and the children of Israel, they sang and they worshiped the Lord, saying, I will sing and worship the Lord for his glorious victory. He has thrown the many Egyptian horses and their riders into the sea. The Lord is my strength and the Lord is my song and he has truly become my savior. He is my God. And I will praise him he is the same God that my past fathers worshipped. I will exalt him. The Lord himself is a true soldier, and yes, his name is the Lord. the Egyptian king's war chariots and his army into the sea. And yes, all of them, including the best Egyptian officers, they all drowned in the Red Sea. The deep waters covered them and they sank like stone. Lord, your right hand has truly gained a glorious victory. And Lord, with your right hand, you have destroyed the enemy, and we see them no more. Wow. They came against you. But by your exalted greatness, you truly defeated them. Your anger is as a fire that came against them. And just like straw, they were gone to where no one will see them again. And in the deep center of the sea, you blew the water, and your breath pushed the water into walls, walls that stood as if they were frozen. That enemy boasted, saying, we can chase, and we can catch them, and then we can divide their things. And with our swords, we can cut them to pieces, and we, can, we will destroy them. And then this, we will truly enjoy doing. And that will satisfy us. But by your breath, you blew and you closed the powerful sea. And like lead, they sank under it. Are there any other gods like you? Who? Nah, there are none. 
You alone are glorious and holy, having honor and praise. And yes, you alone, you do great things. Wow. Here ends our first lesson. The second lesson this morning is 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 through 11. My brothers and my sisters, I, Paul, I inform you about his good story of grace. Yes. I have preached this same story to you as I have received the same word that you continue to live. His word that I have preached is true, and it can save you. And it can save you when confidence in him <coughs> continues. And if you don't continue with confidence in him, then your faith is worth nothing. Now the first and the most important word that I have received is that Christ died. And this is as I have now informed you. That word is first in importance because of our many sins. Christ's actions, they succeeded. Agreeing with the word that was already written. Also, it is important that Jesus was buried. Yes. And three days later, Jesus rose again, which also happened in agreement with the word that was already written. So Peter and the 12 disciples, they saw him. Then later, over 500 of our brothers and sisters all together saw him. And the most of that group, they continue to live. But a few of them are asleep, meaning that a few of them have died. Later, James and all of the followers, they saw him. And then after all of them saw him, lastly, I saw him. Yes, I am one like a baby that was born at the wrong time. But it's true, for in the group of followers, I am last of importance, and of myself, I, I am not up to the level named a follower, for I persecuted this church. But by his grace, I became the person that I am now. Oh yes. And I, I worked harder than all of you. Well, not really me. But his grace was working in me. And his grace in me, it did not fail. Therefore, it makes no difference whether I did it or other people did it. The most important thing is that the faith in you believes the word proclaimed to you. Yes, Christ died. And also, people buried Jesus. And yes, three days later, Jesus rose again. And that the most important thing. Here ends our second lesson. <clears throat> our reading for the Holy Gospel this morning is taken from the book of Luke, chapter 24, <clears throat> verses 1 through 11. But on the first day, Sunday, it was early in the morning, and while it was still dark, those women named Mary Magdalene, Joanna, and Mary, James's mother, 
and some other women, they went to the tomb. They prepared and they brought spices because they were going to prepare Jesus' body for a burial. But they noticed that the tomb door, the stone door, was already rolled back. <coughs> so they entered the tomb, but they did, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus there. So the women, they considered this, and they were very puzzled. But then there were two men who appeared, and they were standing there. And their clothes, they shone like lightning. And those women, they became terrified. And so they bowed with their faces on the ground. But those two men, they told them, they said, that living one, why do you search for him among the dead? Why? No, he is not here. But the father, he raised him. And yes, this is just as Jesus told you when you were before in Galilee. Do you remember that he said that it must happen that one, meaning Ju uh, Judas, will give the Son of Man into the hands of sinful men. They will take and crucify him he will die, but later, on the third day, he will rise again. So those women remember Jesus' story. And then they left the tomb and went to the eleven, the disciples and all of the other people. And they informed them about all of the recent things. And then all of the women, they told the followers about the recent things. But the followers... They thought their words were truly foolish words, and they, they didn't believe them. Here ends our Holy Gospel lesson. We now announce our faith to our one true God, using the words of the Apostles' Creed. Please copy. I believe in the triune God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. I believe in the Father Almighty, the Creator. Heaven and earth were made by the Father. I believe in His only Son, who came here, our Lord, Jesus Christ. When the Holy Spirit came and touched the Virgin Mary, she became pregnant with Him. She gave birth to Jesus. It happened later that Governor Pontius Pilate punished Jesus by crucifying him. Jesus suffered, died, and was buried. Jesus descended into hell. On the third day, Jesus rose again. Later, he ascended to heaven and sits at God the Father, Almighty's right hand. Jesus will come again. All the people who have ever lived, Jesus will judge. Some will have life eternal and some eternal suffering. I believe in the Holy Spirit. He came and established the Holy Christian Church, the fellowship of his people, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and for me, life eternal. I believe in the triune God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen.
Dear friends, trusting Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, we will consider the gospel lesson recently signed for you, my dear friends, trusting Jesus. Amen. I'm also curious before I begin if the camera focus is better. Uh, I realize many of the people that watch at home uh, on Friday the focus goes in and out. What we found out is Facebook uses the phone cam camera in a different way. YouTube held the focus. But we found out on Facebook, the, the signs out, as a sign comes like this, it sees that out here, catches that, and I become blurry. And it goes in and out like that. And I apologize, I didn't realize it was happening until Friday, somebody informed me. So we think we've figured out the way that we can cause the phone focus to freeze. So let us know if we still need to work better on that. But anyway, my dear friends, I, I, have done terrible things long ago. Sin caused Jesus' death. How can Jesus forgive me now? Have you ever thought that? That is like a temptation and it's like he the devil said are you truly his son cast yourself down it's the same temptation to doubt the things that Jesus promised to doubt Jesus Easter new life rise again life that God gives you and me. <coughs> Jesus is risen. That's the Good Friday to Easter message. That the Savior accepted all 
your and my terrible things, yes, 2,000 years ago. We're talking about God here. And he is able to do that. All, yes, all of the terrible things you and I have done, Jesus accepted into himself and paid your sin debt. It's canceled. And the Father remembers your and my sin no more. Did they say it was still blurry? Nobody commented on it. Nobody said it. I just saw you adjust it again because I'm moving, maybe. God accepted his sacrifice, and today Jesus rose to life again, proving, proving all of your and my terrible things. God the Father forgives and he forgets. That's God's baptism promise to you. Remember in Romans chapter 6, verses 3 through 6, and you can live a new resurrected Easter life. But it's not just Easter. You know, sometimes it's Easter and Christmas and every once in a while. It's an everyday new life. Many, many people don't attend regular church. Sometimes they can't and they're able to watch on the internet and we thank God for that. Many don't even come to church on Easter or Christmas. Why? The devil has convinced many people to think that they have done, like we said, all of these terrible things all the way along, and there is no way God could forgive all of that. The Bible is clear, clear, that the exact right time God sent his son, God himself came, died to save all people. Oh, but the... The devil causes and convinces some people to think, oh, Jesus couldn't do that. He's not God. And they think that dead never rise. I never see dead rise. It can't happen. Why come to Easter? Jesus couldn't rise. Dead never rise. I had never seen it. Therefore, so they forget church. They forget Jesus. Their experience, I have to see it first. We're going to be waiting a long time to see the next person rise to life. And the devil knows that and convinces people to forget Jesus and to forget church. There's an interesting movie. Maybe some of you have already seen it. It just, it just opened about uh, a young boy here in St. Louis. Have you seen that? No one? I haven't yet seen it too, so I shouldn't be really that critical. The Ice, the Breakthrough movie. Three boys, not too smart, playing on ice here in this area most often now the ice is not thick enough to support anything. I mean, when I grew up, we drove trucks onto the ice and built fires and ice skated. No, it wasn't stupid. Dan said it was ignorant. Well, um, not in Nebraska. And not after, after we were both behold freezing for a long time. Uh, and we knew that it was thick enough, and the, pa the parents were involved. Well, these three boys, they weren't smart, they were ignorant, you're right. They were playing on the ice, and it broke, and all three fell in right away. <coughs> the people could, could get two of them, but one 14-year-old boy 
stayed under the water 15 minutes. Under the water, 15 minutes. They found him by, they found him and brought him up. No heartbeat. CPR for 35 minutes. No heartbeat for an hour. And no brain activity. It seems to me he was uh, kind of dead. And suddenly, one hour later, the heart started beating again. And 16 days later, this young boy walked out of the hospital, no brain damage, no problems. He can talk just fine. Amazing. That is probably the closest to a dead and resurrection you and I will, will, will ever see. You know, Lazarus, just a little bit before they arrested Jesus and crucified him, he rose Lazarus. How many days was he dead? He was dead two days. Jesus heard he was sick, waited two days. So four days later, Jesus arrived, and Mary said, Oh, he's been in there for two days. He's going to smell. It's going to be terrible. And he was dead. But people say, Well, God here is involved. So naturally, he can give people life again. He created, created the whole place. And now, when you talk about Jesus dying, oh, and yes, he did rise Lazarus to life again. And now Jesus, dead three days, not two, not one hour, three days. No way. And yet God is involved here, and yes, way. Jesus died and rose to life again. And the devil tries to convince you, possible. And we're all in the same boat. We have to convince God by us doing good enough, and God will be happy and bring. That is not hope. You and I depend on ourselves is no hope at all. And we do not consider that hope today. We know that Jesus is risen. He is risen indeed. Now that is what we celebrate, and that is true hope. We, on Good Friday, many of you were here. You walked up. You touched baptism water. You then went to the cross and touched one of those nails, and I meant to keep one out here, and I forgot it. It was all packed away. That's okay. You touched a nail, and you remember that same verse that I just talked about, Romans chapter 6, but also sometimes we forget Colossians chapter 2, verses 11 through 15, where God's word talks about Baptism, parallel with circumcision. And when God baptized you, he circumcised your heart, gave you a new heart, not with human hands, but his hands involved in your life and in your heart, giving you his new heart. But it also says his war things against you. Maybe you could think today that the devil comes against you with one of those tanks. Boom! Boom! Or maybe just a gun. Whatever. Jesus, it could be a tank. Jesus takes it. It was crucified with him. He takes it away. And all of those flaming arrows that the Bible says the devil shoots against you and me, all of those were taken and crucified with Jesus, and the victory is yours and mine. 
defeated him. You and I have the victory. That's what we celebrate today. And on Friday, we touch the water, touch the, the nails, and we received the Lord's Supper. That same one that defeated him long ago defeats all of our sin. He comes true body, true blood, and gives you himself, gives you his victory, and gives you his life. Technology is wonderful when it works right. So his gracious faith gift trusts Jesus alone. And yes, we do not see people die and rise to life. But Jesus did. And he succeeded. And he gives you the assurance that your life belongs to him. Jesus is risen. He is risen indeed. Today is an important day. Why? Why today do we, all of this celebration, and everyone comes to church, and why? What is today that causes us to do that? Well, I can tell you, since none of you are answering me, I'll tell you, it connects us to that most important Easter day, the first one. It connects us to that first Easter that is connected to that, the cross where Jesus died, that is connected to God deciding before he made the world that he would save you and save all people. And it is an important day. But you see, that connection, connection, connection is a life, not just one day. This celebration of Jesus' resurrection and new life is a celebration that God gives us connected to that Good Friday, but connected every day with the life that he gives us to serve him. Yesterday, I signed a communion video, and I don't know how many of you watched it, not yet, but I signed Life is not just one day, any one day, Christmas, Easter, but life is every day, that life that God gives you, continuing to live, continuing to serve, continuing through to life eternal, trusting Jesus' holy name, Jesus is risen. God is good. Amen.
with your age, Sarah? Oh, 42 or 24? No, 22? <laughs> Well, I have four times 22. That's, you're not 88. Oh, 422. I get it. That's tomorrow. You don't hit me with that. She for 88 years. Oh, the, the age is a question mark. I now see it. We, we pray. Heavenly Father, as we've gathered together, we thank you that you have given us a wonderful holy week. But more important, you give us your son who lived, died, and rose to save each one of us. That you give us a new life that's not just during one day or during one holy week or even during a few weeks or a month. You give us an eternal life that begins this day and kind of important from now not, but from now on, your life that continues eternal in us as Jesus' new heart continues eternal in us. And we thank you and celebrate with you that your son Jesus, you, rose again to give us new life. We ask you to be with the people who can't be here and can't come to church, with Cleveland and Dorothy and Sherry, also with uh, Maxine and Sue, with Marge and Alice Woodruff, with continue with uh, Dan and his improvement on his on his knee, and he can be here with us. And we thank you for that. Also continue with my brother PJ and also my brother-in-law Max, who now has finished therapy and is looking forward to a day of surgery. We ask you to bless all of them. Continue to give them hearts that know your love and know your son Jesus, that live depending on your faith gift to life forever. We ask you to uh, bless and protect Christians all over the world where people persecute them. Give them continued strong faith, ready at any time for the day that they decide to kill them. But also, continue to bless their words to touch the hearts of these persecutors so your word can give them life as you want to give all people. We ask, ask you to be with Sarah, Sarah on her birthday tomorrow. Bless her with many, many more years, and you know her age. I don't, but you know. Continue to give her many, many more years of service of your life in her, and give her the assurance that her life, be your life began in her the day that you baptized her and continues to life forever. For the President of the United States and all the people that serve us in government, give them wisdom and understanding to make good, wise decisions so we, your people, can live in peace. The soldiers that serve us, protect out them. When their service is done, bring them here with us and their families here with us. Bless and provide the things that their families need. For the, P, the first responders, the police and the firemen, protect them when their work is done. Bring them home every day with their families and the children that are in foster care. Continue to bless them and help them always remember that you love them, we love them, and provide new homes as soon as possible for them. These things, the other things we have in our minds and hearts, we bring into your attention. We trust your answer best to serve us. We trust Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen. Oh, Father, this, this bread and wine and those, those gifts that our labors have earned, with faith in, in Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, our Lord, we offer those just as we offer ourselves. Please, Father, accept the earthly gifts that we offer. Rejoice in your hearts. Rejoice. 
In Jesus, In Jesus our Lord, we, we rejoice. rejoice. We give thanks for his glory. With, With Jesus in, in us, we give, give thanks and rejoice. Thanks and praise to you, O Father. You sent your only Son to come here to this world. A woman gave birth to Jesus, a man. Our sins crucified Jesus on the cross. Jesus died to save us. Jesus came to save us. Help, Help us understand with faith. Jesus walked among us, a man on this, on our earth here, this world of trouble. He commanded us to remember his death. His death gives us life. Jesus commanded us to wait until he comes again in glory. We, we remember, remember Jesus' death. Jesus lives with us and we live. We wait until Jesus will come again. Spirit gives life, power, glory, and love. With this holy communion, help us to join with Jesus Christ, just as he himself joins with us, members that belong to his church. With your help, we can from now on live, from now on live, from now on live our member promises until we eat with Jesus there in his heavenly kingdom. Come, risen Lord, live in us, and we can live in you. Now with all believers, past, present, and future believers, with the whole world, with joy, we say, Holy, 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 holy is the Lord our God Almighty. Almighty. All the world and all of history shows your glory now and always. Amen. Amen. With the words that Jesus taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, because the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. These are God's gifts for the, the people of God. Amen.
Take, eat, take, drink Jesus, his true body, true blood, given and shed to forgive all of our sins. Jesus is risen. He is risen indeed. Now with him in you, you can depart and every day live the new life that only God can give. Depart with his peace.
Savior, Jesus Christ, and it is given for you. risen in her Jesus is risen. 
her heart forever and from now on. It's forever from now. It's forever is from now on, right? risen? Indeed, good. 
He saves me, and he crowns me with, with love and mercy. He gives me all good things, and he causes my life to become young again. All over the world, give thanks to the Lord. He rules in every place. My soul, give thanks to the Lord, and give praise to the Father Almighty. Give praise to Jesus Christ, his, his Son, Son, our Lord. Give praise to the Holy Spirit, living in our hearts, now and forever. Amen. Jesus is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Now the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Easter song. you should give the song first. And then he is risen to the answer of your brother. Oh. He's pretty loud. He's pretty loud. During, uh, during Holy Week. I appreciate all the help, especially uh, for Thursday, uh, Marty and Lois. Without those two, we probably would not have a Seder. So I just really appreciate uh, your work. I appreciate uh, the people that helped uh, today, also the choir that helped on Good Friday. And I, ap I appreciate uh, Sarah, Sarah and Jennifer for deciding to do the candy. We didn't even know it was going to happen. And also the people here at Concordia that made those big eggs.
to say thanks to you for being here as part of or in their church building, but uh, working with them, sharing the gospel of Jesus. So we appreciate uh, Concordia for providing the candy also. Um, uh, please read the bulletin. Uh, next week, Sunday, is low Sunday, so you don't have to come to church. Everybody can just stay home. And and Jesus is, is risen. Hallelujah. Next week, Sunday, remember that. When you wake up and think, I don't have to go to church, just remember that, okay, all of you? Why? God bless each one of you. Right back there. Now he blesses all of you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry.